So let's deal with the black people who were indicted. One of them is Trevion Akuti. Uh, if y'all look at her social media, nuts, okay? She, but well, then again, she was the publicist for R. Kelly as well as Kanye West. And uh, I remember coming across her um, here in D.C., and she was all excited because she had, a, had one of the big Sharpies from Trump signing a bill, and she was talking about how she could sit here and put a debate together with me and Kanye West. She got Kanye on the phone, and I was kind of like, mm, I don't give a shit. I really don't care. Uh, and so uh, if you look at her Twitter page, I mean, again. Okay. Uh, go to my iPad. Uh, and so you see this, tw this tweet she posted here. Uh, about Trump uh, 2024, uh, and then uh, you go further down her page. Uh, then she goes, everybody can see what's happened to Donald Trump. You don't have to like him. You might even hate him. However, you cannot deny the global mass concerted efforts to destroy him. Before Russia Gate, J6 in Georgia, they made you hate this man. Now ask yourselves why. You must hate yourself posting some of this nonsense. Uh, let, let's see what else that's... Um, she, then she posted, she retweeted this video, staying with Trump. Okay. That makes no sense whatsoever. Uh, and then she got some other, uh, Trump is the man, he's, he's the bomb, bit diggity, all this sort of stuff. I, whatever. Now, if you go to her Instagram page, you, you really see uh, some some nutcase stuff. And so, uh, you know, that that's that's just, again, one of those t tweets that, you know, you just sit here and go, really? Now, here's this other, so this is other guy, Harrison Floyd. Uh, he is uh, over Black Voices for Trump. Uh, he also uh, got indicted. I love this here. Four days ago, he goes, keep that same energy when the truth comes out, Rick Wilson. The receipts don't lie, and the best is yet to come. Uh, yeah, and then, you know, all these people, Candace so on standing with him. Uh, guess what, Harrison? The receipts came out. Yo ass indicted. You stupid. <laughs> and here's the other thing here. Uh, Jenna Ellis, who was a Trump attorney, well, guess what? So Trump's, legal, Trump's PAC is not paying her legal fees. Why? Because she has endorsed Ron DeSantis. This shows you, Larry, all of these people are stupid. Anybody who got in bed with this dude is an idiot because he doesn't care about you. He cares about himself. Yeah, and they better get those prison jumpsuits ready. <laughs> Listen, if you, what is people, I don't understand what people haven't been paying attention, not just in terms of his political career, but his, his career in general. Donald Trump will throw you to the side, and all he cares about is himself. He's a narcissist, and he has a long history of focusing on his only on his own needs. And like you said, Rola, you know, Ellis and some of these other people, all these other individuals who are indicted, they're in a lot of trouble. These RICO charges are, are really serious, you five to 20 years per indictment. And, you know, if they don't realize really soon that, that they're in this by themselves— they're going to continue to dig holes. And many of these individuals who are attorneys are going to lose their law license. And then they won't be able to practice law and won't be able to take care of their families. But it'll be well-deserved. But anyone thinks that he's going to come to their aid financially or in any other way hasn't been paying attention for the last several decades. He's focused on himself. He's going to try to save himself. And I think that some of those folks might want to give, uh, give, a, give some of those folks in Georgia a call to cut a deal before they go to uh, end up going to prison for the rest of their lives. I mean, I, look, I, you got to be dumb to put... I mean, look at all these lawyers, Mustafa, who, who got indicted. I mean, you literally are going to put your law license on the line defending that idiot? Yeah, well, you know, folks drink the Kool-Aid. <laughs> and, and evidently, that Kool-Aid was really intoxicating and made you actually lose all the intelligence. It must have just seeped out their bodies because... This is real, um, and y'all about to get some act right. And that act right is them concrete floors and them steel bars when they close behind you. So, as Larry said, um, you might go ahead and get in line uh, and begin to be a part of these dominoes that are going to fall, this house of cards that's going to fall, because if you continue to support this foolishness, you're going to spend a lot of time in jail. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're going to spend some time in jail, uh, and... Uh, I think what's going to be happening real soon 
You're going to see a lot of people plea bargaining, Larry, because once it becomes real, it's going to be like, how can I get out of this mess? Yeah, everybody's tough <laughs> in the beginning, but this is state, not federal prison. That's a different, that's also, we should also add some context to the difference between state and federal prisons. So this is not, this is not a game. And so when she announced all those RICO charges, it, going after, you know, historically going after mob, you know, enterprises, she sent a clear message. And as you, someone, you know, you had a gentleman for NAACP on earlier, this is not the first time she used RICO charges. She's used them several times. So it is really important for those folks to get lined up and make phone calls and make some deals to ensure that they don't spend, you know, years and if not decades in prison. This is not a game. And as I said earlier, Donald Trump is not coming to your defense. The other thing, Roland, is this, it, the amount of money it's going to cost people in legal costs to fight these charges. So once again, if these individuals really care about, um, you know, ensuring that they have, you know, can stay, live in, uh, spend some time at home with their families at some point, they better cut deals now because if they don't, you don't want to be at the end of the line when everyone else has cut their deal cut and then you spend decades in prison. And you are right.